morning. This is FloridaLaw.net, and I'm Kim Parr. This morning, my guest is Rochelle Routman, the Chief Sustainability Officer with HMTX. Rochelle, how are you doing? I'm great, Kim. How are you today? I'm good. I've caught you in San Diego. You're at Greenbuild. Which last year, it was a virtual event. This year, they had an event. You're there. I was hoping you'd play uh, correspondent for Floor Focus and tell us what's going on. Before we get to that, though, HMTX, obviously a relatively new brand. Most people know it's one of the world's largest suppliers of LVT globally. It's got four brands, Technofloor, Metrofloor, Aspecta, and Halstead. And as Chief Sustainability and Quality Officer, it fits well that you would go to Greenbuild, right? Yes. I mean, I'm very happy to be here. I've been coming to Greenbuild every year since 2012, except, of course, uh, last year when it was completely virtual. So it's yeah. really a treat to be able to come and see people in person. Another little bit of piece of background. Greenbuild was started by the U.S. Green Building Council, a Washington organization, and they sold the trade show to Informa a few years ago. And so it's kind of a partnership where USGBC does the conference and content of the seminars, and there's also a trade show. Tell us a little bit about attendance, if you would. Sure. From my perspective and also from some of the discussions I've had with other people, we estimate that there's about 2,500 people that are attending this year. And the educational sessions have been very good. The rooms have been pretty large, so they've allowed for social distancing. Most people are wearing their masks, and that's been recommended. The trade show that opened today was pretty sparse, uh, not not a whole lot of activity. It seemed to me that there were more people in the educational session. Actually, that's been the way it has been from the very beginning. There was more energy around the education part than the trade show part. But I mean, let's look back. Three or four years ago, that trade show probably attracted 15,000 people. So it's a, it's a big shift, isn't it? It is. It's a huge shift. However, I will say that it is nice in some respects because it's not so crowded. I've been running into people that I've known for a long time and, you know, we've had great conversations with one another. So far, it's been a positive experience overall. And I am, I am glad that I made the trip out here. What other foreign companies are there? Have you made a note of that? So I didn't see that many other flooring companies that are on the trade show floor, but I do see representatives from Wallace and also Mohawk today. But it's not like the usual crowd of people where flooring companies would bring maybe, you know, five or 10 people to Greenville. There may be maybe one or two people in some cases. Definitely. Shaw Contract have been, a, have been a staple at this show. So that's interesting that they're not there in a big way. Yeah, so the trade show is so different this year. I, You know, it used to be normally you would walk in and you would see these huge big booths by, like you said, you know, Shaw and then Home Depot would be right there. And now it's, it, it must be maybe a 20th of the size that it has been in the past. So a couple other little quick questions. I noticed that Mahesh, the guy that was running it, who came in after Rick Badrizi, that he was stepping down and they've named a new leader, right? Yeah, so that will be Peter Templeton, and my understanding is that he is very highly respected and a well-known person in the green building community. So yeah, that's that's a big change, and my sense is that the attendees are ready to see some more things happening at green build and also with the USGBC, maybe to try to rebound from COVID and, you know, people want to see it come back in its former glory. Although I do want to mention that Mahesh has done a, done a great job and he did do a fantastic speech this morning, which I really enjoyed. And it, it really related to the fact that we will really need some sweeping changes in order to address climate change. And that's been a big topic of conversation at the educational sessions this year. So he did set the stage for that. The other thing I want to mention is that HMTX does have a booth at the trade show. We are part of the Mindful Materials Pavilion. And so that's been positive. And also, um, I am delivering a CEU course tomorrow on biophilia. Right. And we Wouldn't you agree that with COVID and the fact that offices themselves 
are in a little bit of a flux situation right now, it, it kind of makes sense that Greenville would kind of step back a little bit, doesn't it? Well, it does. But one thing they have done, which is very smart, is that you can stream all of the sessions virtually. Yeah. So, in fact, I've watched some of the sessions from my hotel room. If I couldn't make it to the convention center today, you know, I had a, another commitment this morning. and I was able to watch it before breakfast. So there are people that are engaged. It's just that they're not all together in a room. So, Rochelle, another, another big news item with HMTX um, we just recently covered was you're building this new headquarters up in Norwalk, Connecticut. How's that going? That is going great. My understanding is that it will be uh, completed um, beginning of next year, and it will be a wonderful example of one of the most aspirational green buildings, not just in Connecticut, but in the country. And the special thing about that building is that it's a corporate headquarters. So most of the living buildings, which that will be, are nonprofit centers or educational facilities, but there aren't that many corporate facilities, much yeah. less corporate headquarters. I think it's going to be really an exciting and beneficial building for HMTX, especially because it will be our global headquarters. So right. people will be able to, to learn more about living buildings. They'll be able to go there and participate and engage with one another in designing products of the future. I'm sure there'll be some great conversations and developments that will take place at that building. Neocon is just around the corner, just two weeks away. And you guys have got a permanent space on the 11th floor, HMTX does. Will you be there? Yeah, so I will be there. And uh, this is another very exciting movement for the company. The permanent showroom establishes HMTX as a bigger player in the flooring industry, uh, along with the, the other companies that have permanent showrooms. And this feels very foundational for the company because, yeah. you know, we'll be able to meet and greet visitors there throughout the year. So it won't just be a one-time thing. You know, it will be an ongoing space for us to spend time with people. Yeah, Chicago presence, definitely. I hope we have a good show. Oh, yes, I hope so, too. And I have a feeling that it might be somewhat like Green Build and that initially, you know, people were holding off to the very end before they registered and decided to attend. And then yeah. there was a big bump up closer to the show because initially we heard that there were only going to be 800 people showing up here in San Diego. But, you know, it's really like maybe three times that many that, that have actually come here to enjoy the show. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing you there. I'll be there as well. And it's, yeah. thanks for telling us what's been going on in San Diego at Greenbuild. Again, been talking to Rochelle Routman, the Chief Sustainability Officer with HMTX. And you've been listening to Kempar and FloridaLA.net.